Oh, so this question comes from Nicole V. Um, I am soon going into my last year of high school in Norway, uh, USA sophomore, and I'm wondering what to do ne for next year. I'm having one foot in the software engineering and one foot in the gaming engineering. Both are free, $100 a semester plus cost of living. We get a huge sponsorship where 40% is a scholarship if we pass the exam. So your usual go-to school where you can afford to go to school does not work in Norway. Uh, but back to the question, where do you think I will earn more money? Now here's a question. Hey, that's a question I can answer. Um, I've tried contacting the school and other businesses, but there is a huge gap between businesses I have given up. Help me, Eli. Um, so that's one thing, too, is is whenever you're going to be asking a question of any kind of mentor, guru, anybody you're going to be asking a question of, um, do make sure that you're actually like really asking a question that they can answer. So if you say, Eli, what career will make me happiest? I don't know. I will always answer floral arrangement. I think floral arrangement is a career for everybody, right? Because it's like, what will make you happiest? I have no idea what the hell your personality type is. I do not, I have no idea what your requirements are. None of that. What is best for you? Who the hell knows? Go figure it out. If you ask me what will make you more money, now that is something that I can answer or at least give you a more correct answer to. And so the question here is between software engineering and game engineering. Now, what I'm going to tell you is a real story from talking with a CEO of one of these game companies that actually, in fact, surprised me. So I was talking to one of these uh, the CEOs of these game companies, and again, me being me and talking to the CEO, I can, I can have a little bit more honest conversation than you guys can, right? Because I can sit there, like, literally and have a beer and just nonchalantly ask damn near any question I want, and they generally, surprisingly, give me a lot of answers. So I'm sitting there, you know, we're drinking beers at uh, one of these events, and I was asking him, I was like, so uh, so what do your uh, your game developers cost? It was like, you know, I see you need all these game developers to create these games. It seems like games is kind of one of those weird products to sell. If you have a blockbuster, you make a zillion dollars, but if you don't have a blockbuster, you go pretty Broke. You know, it's like this really weird business. It's like a winner take the hell all type thing. And so it's like, you know, if you're looking at most developers costing you 90, 100 grand a year, you got 10 developers on a product product that like if it doesn't become a blockbuster, you're screwed. How does that work out? And he was saying they're drinking beer. He's like, oh, no, no, no. Our, our, our game developers don't cost that much. I was like, what? How much do game developers cost? <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> it was like game developers, uh, they cost us about 40 grand a year. And I looked at him, and I like choked on my beer. I was like, <clears throat> what? A developer, a developer costs you $40,000. Not like one of your developers either. Like, this is what you budget for your game developers, 40 grand a year. And he was like, yeah, right about there. And I was just dumbfounded. I looked at him, I was like, I, I, don't, even, I don't even get that. You know, I'm, I'm, talking with, I'm talking with a lot of people. And, you know, whether... You, you know, whether a developer is worth 80 grand or 90 grand or 130 grand, that's the question, but but developers aren't worth forty thousand dollars. Like that that's that's like oh damn near a help a, damn near a help desk person if they work for a good company might make that much. Like how do you get developers for forty thousand dollars? And he looked at me and he said, Well, the thing is is everybody wants to be a game developer. And I was like, What? And he's like, yeah, yeah, everybody in the world wants to be a game developer. So when we put out our help wanted ad saying we need game developers, we get a zillion um, applicants, good applicants that apply. And so we have our pick out of whoever wants to apply and we pay them 40 grand a year. <laughs> and I was like, oh, oh, that is, that is a beautiful business to have. <laughs> and it really is. It really is. He was literally hiring developers at approximately half price simply because people want to be game developers. That is a very good lesson for you guys in life. So if you want money, 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 uh, go straight for software engineering. I am telling you, I'm telling you, like I said, I've talked with these game devs, it's just like, it is shocking. Like game developers, like every other developer out there is having the time, of their, I mean, you know, they, they work their asses off. But every most of the other developers I talk to, like, unless they work for, like, government agencies or something horrible, I mean, they really, they are coddled, and they are, they are given money, and they are given benefits, and they are given all these wonderful things to make them happy. And I swear to you, I have heard so many stories from these game, these, these, develop, these game development companies where these developers, it's basically like a nasty, horrible sweatshop. 
And the difference is, is because everybody wants to be a game developer, and so these people can be treated like crap, get paid half the amount of money, and they smile. I'm a game developer. That's nice. I'm going to go work on this database app and make three times the amount of money you do and get ice cream sandwiches at 2 o'clock every afternoon. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it really is true. It's really true. So, uh, so I would say the hell away from game development. Uh, again, I've talked with a few people on this. Like I say, I really did have that conversation with the CEO. And, I mean, I followed this, like, with the game engineer. I mean, and all you, I mean, uh, just do some... Uh, just do some Google searches for, for things like ele electronic arts um, employment practices or something like that. And it is, it's just like, what the hell? <laughs> it's not even, it's not even close. It's not like, oh, game developers, you know, they, they're, they get a little bit worse. It's like, Oh my golly, so no. Um, go for software engineering. Software engineering, software engineering, software engineering. Um, 